Hi guys and welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. This time I'm here with the second part of my favorites video. The first part was skin care, body care, hair care. And this one, which will be shorter, will focus on makeup. So let's start MAC painters. They really increase longevity, they increase the vibrancy, the color of the eyeshadows I put on top. If I the one I use the most is Painterly, and I can put it all over my lid to erase veins, discolorations, um, if I'm just going for a natural and polished look. The Clinique Chubby Sticks for the eyes and I own two colors. This one is Bountiful Beige and Apple Amber on my lids. They last all day. Just for a quick wash of color, I apply them, I blend them a little, I can even dab them on with my fingers and shave them out, and I'm good to go. I'm one of those girls that wear eyeliner almost every day, and the one I reach for the most is a L'Oreal Superliner in extra black gloss. I like the tip, it's a felt tip, it's very flexible, but not too flexible. It deposits the color in one go. It doesn't flake on me, but it's easy to take off. A very recent discovery, sadly not available in Germany, I bought it when I was in New Zealand, is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in the shade Fair. It has a doe foot applicator, um, I usually apply it on the back of my hand and then dab it on any spots or discolorations I have on my face. And while the coverage could be a little better for my taste, I love that it really stays all day. Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in Seductive Pink. It is one of the few blushes that really have a dent in them. I know that they are said to be dupes for the hourglass blushes, which I can't tell because I don't own an hourglass blush, but I love the sheen they give. No sparkle, just a lovely, lovely sheen on my cheek. I'm wearing it today and I hope you can see how lit from within my cheeks look. My favorite lipsticks in general are the MAC lipsticks. Not every finish, but the amplified ones and the satin ones. So I'm showing you the one I'm wearing today. It is a limited edition from the uh, Disney collection from 2010, 9. I think 2010, and it's called Dark Deed. It's an amplified, very pretty brownish red. This year, summer 2015, I made a discovery. I did a blogger exchange and I got a gift. It was my first ever Chanel nail polish. The color is 581 Cinema, which is a very mature, grown up red. And before trying that, I had only heard horrible things about Chanel nail polishes. Thin, chipping within 24 hours, not worth the money. I applied this and it lasted on my nails for five to seven days. And I'm pretty rough on my nails. Three days without tip wear is really good for a nail polish. It was opaque in one coat, I did usually two, but it was opaque in one coat. It was dry in no time. I was really, really impressed. And now I'm left wondering, are all Chanel nail polishes that good or are they hit and miss? If you know, if you have any recommendations, leave me the answer in the comments. Um, because I'd hate to spend 
that much money, much money on an air push cup chips. So that's it for my Makeup Favorites 2015. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have done a favorites video or blog post, please don't hesitate and leave me the link below. I'd love to see what you have been enjoying so I can get inspired for 2016. Thank you for watching. Bye.